All right, what's going on, my friends? So I'm here on the screen. Uh, first, let me be formal. Welcome to another video. My name is Bijan, in case anybody is new here. Um, and yeah, welcome to the video. Today, we're going to be talking about, uh, we're going to do a trade recap here on a trade I did today, trading Facebook puts, where we made a $1,440 profit using less than $2,200. Um, I'm going to try and keep this thing here of me to kind of keep your attention. I might, I don't know how to use it. So if you know how to use it and you see through this video, I do it wrong, please let me know. Um, but if you can hit the thumbs up, if you like this, that'll let me know that I should try to continue this more, at least showing you myself. Uh, but anyways, let's just jump right into the trade recap here, kind of keep things fluid and moving now. So we were trading Facebook puts and I'm going to get into all the orders and all of that kind of stuff later. We'll first talk about the charts and all of that but time wise i got into it at 9 18 now remember i'm on the pacific time zone so the, i don't want anyone getting all bent out of shape like oh well, the market doesn't even open until 9 30 you know people love to do that so it's market open 6 30 for me so 9 18 is when i got into the trade i closed it out about two two and a half hours later uh, i had 10 contracts at 216 each so that's 2160 i put into the trade two hours later i sold it for 3600 and that's pretty much that i said we were not going where 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 did i go you see that's what i meant when i say there i am hey guys i'm back Okay, that's what I meant when I said I don't know how to really use this program thing or how to keep myself there. I see some other YouTubers that can keep themselves there, and I'm like, man, I'm not technical. I don't know how to figure this stuff out, so maybe that's why I don't grow. But anyways, guys, we're back to it. We're, we're here. We're good. I don't need to do any more clicking around, hopefully. So basically what happened is I'm going to give you guys a bit of information here. We're going to talk about it from a few different perspectives. So number one is from the watch list, I guess you can say. The original plan on my watch list was to get into it at 320 so last night i make my watch list the night before so that i don't have to wake up earlier in the morning and do it in the morning and all that obviously i narrow it down in the morning but it's better and easier for me to have done it the night before so i had the plan that basically said hey if we can get a push to the 320 area i'm going to be looking to get short on the trade get short some shares get some puts and that is exactly what happened now we were kind of watching it from back here if you see here this is kind of it has like a little bit of a pattern as a matter of fact this is the pattern that i actually went over in the webinar the other night so i i put together a, it was like a little last minute webinar so if you missed it i'll actually put the link in the description below it'll be a recording for it so don't get all bent out of shape if you see that in the webinar we're talking like we're live it was a live webinar but obviously now it'll be a recording i'll put it in the link in the description uh one of the strategies that i went over there uh, it was this one, but anyways, aside from the the plug to the webinar, it, it's a free webinar, by the way, guys. You don't have to pay anything. You're gonna learn a ton of information, and I would appreciate if you checked it out because I did put a, quite a bit of time into getting it all put together and and figuring out all my examples for you guys. But it'll teach you a ton of information if you're new to trading. But back to this idea here. So we were watching it from this little strategy, this little pattern that it had been forming up here, and we wanted to see if it could break this 32250 area which it did, but unfortunately, uh, it's it just too fast. I, there's no way that we could have caught this and I didn't catch it. I'm not going to act like I did. Um, let me, as a matter of fact, remove this little study that I have going on here. I, I saw I'm kind of riding on the study. That was also part of the reason why I got into the trade, but I'm going to be moving the thing around and I don't want to, you see, I took myself off. Um, here's the studies. I'm going to remove all studies. Just so that this the blue line doesn't get you guys all confused here when I start talking about this blue line and all of that. Uh, let me put myself back here in case anybody would like to see me. I don't know. I, don't, I can't imagine anyone just wants to see me. But hey, if you want to see me, here I am. Um, okay, so anyways, back to it here. Uh, we were looking at it in the morning. I missed the trade. I didn't get a fill. So let me now start zooming it down here. Um, and again, we were watching it for that 320 area. That's basically where we got the push to. But I mean, I didn't I, the just... I couldn't catch it, guys. So I let the trade go. I came back later in the day, and I said, let me revisit it and see. Where did I go? Here I went. Okay, cool. Sorry, guys. I'm going to get better with it. I promise you guys. Just, just hit the thumbs up button if this is something you want me to even continue doing. If you never want to see me again on the videos and you just want me to keep it like monotone and stereo, just whatever. I don't even know what I just said there. Um, but then, then hit the thumbs down, I guess. So communicate with me like that. Drop some comments, guys. Get alive. Live a little. You know what I mean? Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to shrink myself. Here we go. Oh, it's a video. Okay, you see, I'm making a mess, guys. Now I gave away my secret that it's a video recording there. It's not a video recording. It's just that's what it says. Um, okay, so I came back and I visited the trade. Let me one more time, guys. I promise. Please don't get mad. Okay, so I came back, revisited the trade right here, and I saw, okay, we're at this 319 area. Everything worked out. It did actually give a pop back to the 320 area for me to get in it again, but I missed it again. So... Now I'm kind of like evaluating it at this point and saying, all right, we should still be good. Let's see if I can get into the trade with a little bit of an adjusted um, 
plan, uh, adjusted risk to reward and all of that, because obviously, you know, I'm not getting in it at the initial 320 I wanted. So I'm not going to use the same risk to reward before I'm going to make a little bit of an adjustment, which is okay to do as long as you're still within the same parameters of the trade that you wanted. So I missed the trade. I made a little bit of an adjustment. Obviously, it's a lot easier to make an adjustment when you're like right at the 319 when you're all rather than like already down here at like the 318 and all of that. So I kind of gave it a second checked it out and I said okay cool we're doing pretty well I can't expect for it to necessarily give me a push back to the 320 area considering the fact that it already did and sh and it struggled with that area again so I figured okay if it's going to start struggling it'll probably be probably be around this 319 area so this is where I decided to get into the trade I got into the trade right here with a new risk right above the 320 area I gave myself a little bit of a cushion of course I put my alert there and I said if we go above it if it dings the alert it's going to tell me pull out my phone I'll take it close out the trade and that'll be the loss obviously you have to have a plan so that was my plan for the trade was in it at 319 risk right above the 320 and then obviously I had my profit target which I ended up closing the trade out in total all 10 contracts down here at the 316 area so from 319 down to 316 that's a three dollar profit that we made on the shares um, obviously it went down so as the value of the stock went down the value of our puts went up. And here I am, I disappeared again. I was over here talking with my hands and everything too. I was saying as the value of the stock went down, the value of our puts went up. So right here, our puts were worth 216. As the stock went down, our puts went up to 360. And that's where I basically sold it for a $1,400 profit here, as you guys can see. And these are the orders. We'll go over it real briefly and then I'll hop back over to the chart to touch base on all, all of that. But you can see here with options, one is equivalent to 100. So the way it works, if you see it shows like $2.16, it's actually $216. I had 10 of them, as you can see, we were trading puts. So 10 times 216 is 2,160. That was the cost of the trade. Now, that does not mean that's what we're going to lose if we're wrong. We're not risking $2,160. You have to have a plan. I always use my used car example. If you buy a used car for $2,000 thinking you're going to sell it for $3,000, you find out something's wrong with the car, you're not going to just go throw it away in the junkyard or leave it on the side of the road. You're either going to sell it for a little bit of a loss, you're going to put some money in to fix it up, whatever. You know, you're not just throwing it away. So the cost of the trade was $2,160. And then as the value of the stock went down from 319 down to 316, the put that we had now increased in value to 360. And I know this is kind of basic beginner stuff to some people, but I know some I have a, we have a, a large range of people that watch the videos in terms of beginners and, and advanced people and people that already know what they're doing but want to see what I was doing. So just bear with me here. I like to touch base on everybody there. Um, but that's pretty much where we get that $1,400 profit and the cost was $2,160. So now hopping back on the chart to kind of talk about it here a little bit. Let me Let me do all my clicking first. You can see I was also initially watching it from up here and I my, my main reason was I figured, okay, from the 320 area, if we can't get back above that, we're going to at least give a pullback down to one of my moving averages that I had, which was that blue line. I don't feel the need. We don't need to really put it up here because it's not really like that significant of a deal. It's not like, oh, I'm only trading off of these moving averages and all that. I'm just trying to say sometimes I use them as a little bit of a guide, a little bit of a flashlight. You have multiple different things that you work with here. So that was like where I got my profit target from. The, that blue line would have basically like met you like right here. Uh, but anyways, besides the fact moving forward now, so that's what I was looking at, guys. It kind of broke down from that pattern. I didn't catch it, but I said, okay, we can see a play potentially forming up if we can get a push to the 320 area, which is exactly what it did. I missed it. I had to recalibrate, I guess you can say. I got in at 319, risk on 320, locked it out at 316 for a total profit of 1,400. And obviously it could have been way more. It dropped even down below 315. So whether you got in it, from the watch list or whatever you should be solid i'm hoping that some of you guys caught that trade um and that's really it guys i don't think there's much that i'm forgetting here if there is i'll i'll try to i don't know put it in somewhere but really all i can remember is i mentioned the webinar so if you're really interested in learning about that webinar it's completely free and you learn a ton of value but it's about an hour long so just click the link it'll be in the description if you want to join our watch list that i was mentioning you can also i'll put another link in the description for that as well and um that's pretty much that um yeah really that's it